Hey there, it's CJ Ross, and I'm here with another video. I know it's been a long time since I posted. Um, same with my regular posting, but um, I've been busy, you've been busy, everyone's been busy, and you know, you probably have better things to do than to check out my silly videos anyways. Um, I didn't have too much to talk about today, except just a, like a bunch of little silly things. I had already done this video once, but then I realized that I need to enunciate my words better and try to speak more clearly into the, micro in the microphone because I just mumble out a lot. So I'll try my best. But uh, yeah, so one of the reasons I wanted to do a video was because I got this haircut the other day and I thought it was really cute and I wanted to share it with you, which is kind of vain and silly, but I don't often get haircuts, so there you go. Here's the haircut, just there you go. <laughs> um, yeah, so other than my haircut, what, what else can I talk about? You're probably thinking, wow, you're not in your kitchen anymore. You finally left your apartment. Yes, yes, I have. Um, I, I'm not a shut in. I don't just sit in my apartment and bake cookies in my kitchen all the time, but I do go to work sometimes and I do go out. Uh, traveling, biking, running, all those different things. I'm just in um, the side office next to my uh, office. You can see that I use it very well, filled with books there. Um, but uh, it's just, yeah, it's just a side office here. Very cool. Um, what else do I want to talk about? Well, I guess I need to talk about my little shirt. This is uh, an outfit that I actually made for my friend, um, Mr. Rubbly, sorry, Mr. Rubber Italy 2014, I think it is. Um, so I originally made this for him for when I visited him in Italy this June, um, but when we went to put it on, he's a little bit bigger than I am, and I hope he sees that because um, he's very funny, but uh, yeah, he's a little bit bigger than I am. And it just ripped all the way down the side, so I had to take it back home to repair it, um, and now it's mine. <laughs> so yay. Uh, so I'll just take this off. It's a sleeveless shirt, of course, because uh, they're super easy to make, and I haven't tried sleeves yet, partly because I'm a little bit lazy to try something different. Um, so it's a sleeveless shirt. It's a really thin red latex here. Um, maybe 0.35 millimeters, so that's why it tore. I actually tore all the way down the side, right here. This was all torn off. And what I ended up doing was I just, um, I just actually cut this whole part off and replaced it with that new panel, that black side there. I did a different color to make it seem like it was on purpose rather than a repair. And then also there was this blue strip. And that's just for color contrast, and I did that on purpose from the beginning. Um, you can see on the front here, there is a circle, and it's white and black, and I, again, purposely cut it off center, because I knew that if I tried to do it right in the middle, um, it would be hard to make them even. So then if you look on the back, there's the contrasting circle right there. And my inspirations for this shirt. Um, I guess the colors and all that, I was thinking about a couple of different things. I mean, there's that whole Iron Man thing going on with the, the chest plate that he's got. Um, and also thinking about um, characters like Sunfire, who has something like a circle moon thing, I think. They change all the time, so I never really know. But I was thinking about it. It's just an amalgamation of different things and just what I thought would look cool. So there you go. What else did I want to talk about? Um, I also want to just mention briefly privacy and um, and how much privacy do you expect because a lot of you have these anonymous profiles out there. Some of you are out there in real life um, and you're pretty open with it. And for me, I feel like I'm somewhere in between. Um, you know, my blog's open. Uh, you can see my face and I talk about my life and I talk about work sometimes. Um, uh, but how, how much openness is good for you? Um, I, I mentioned this because I was asked by Rubber Canuck, who some of you might know, 
uh, probably many of you might know, he's big in Vancouver here. Um, he asked me to march in the Pride Parade, um, and I declined. I was feeling a bit shy about it, and I didn't do it. And then I felt a bit bad not supporting him, but I guess I just feel awkward with my work and all that if people found out at work. And I don't think anyone, I mean, they couldn't do anything because everything I post is pretty innocuous and innocent, I think. And I w wouldn't be, like, doing anything wrong. But I just feel shy about that. But at the same time, you know, I go to events, um, uh, like fetish events in gear. Sometimes I go out to the club with a little bit of latex on. And I'm, it's, I'm a little bit shy about it, but not, I've done it before. Um, what else? And, yeah, and also, you know, my blogs are open, I have Instagram, my Facebooks, I have, you know, a separate account for my Facebook, and that's all open. And the other day, I noticed, like, someone from my work that I worked with ages ago, they tried to friend me on there, and I didn't accept their friendship, because I just didn't want them to see everything. But they, they tried it nonetheless, and it just made me worry and think a little bit. I don't know if it's a big deal. Also, some, someone followed me on Instagram. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, anyways, let me know your thoughts, um, what you think should be appropriate. Maybe I should stop being less of, or maybe I should stop being such a prude. Maybe I should just be all out there with it, but I don't really know. Anyways, um, I hope everyone's having a good day, a good evening, and that you have a great long weekend if it hasn't passed by the time I post this video. And I guess I just hope everyone's happy. So see you later, and thanks for listening. Did I stop?